association with Warriors Boxing. It's a rematch of one of the great fights of 2017. 12 rounds of action in a rematch for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World. First, we invite to the stage the challenger. With 14 knockouts in his 23 wins, he is ranked the IBF number eight world contender. Fighting out of Halsden by way of St. Albans in England, please welcome the former IBF super middleweight champion of the world, James Chunky DeGale. And now we invite to the stage his opponent, the defending world champion, 18 knockouts in his 29 victories from Osseo, Minnesota. Please welcome the defending IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Golden Caleb Truhax. And now we bring our fighters to the scale. Once again, our weight limit is 168 pounds, super middleweights. First, we present the challenger, the former world champion. He's looking for revenge, looking to regain his title, James Chunky DeGale. One hundred sixty-seven and a quarter pounds for the challenger, James Chunky DeGale. And now here is the defending world champion making the first defense of his title, the IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Golden, Caleb Truax. One hundred sixty-seven and three quarter pounds for the champion. One sixty-seven and three quarter for Caleb Truax. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, one of the great fights of 2017. It's a rematch tomorrow night at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. 12 rounds of action for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship of the World, Caleb Truax, James Chunky DeGale. you are 14 to 1 favorite when you got beat in December. You're still a four to one favorite. How do you explain being a four to one favorite against a fighter who just beat you? Oh, I don't know because the, the people, the boxing people, the general public know that I'm levels above uh, Truex. Listen, he had to get in there and do the job. So you've got, to give him, you've got to give a man the credit. But I believe I'm so much better, better than him. And on Saturday night, I've got a chance to get back my title and show the world that I'm back. When we talked to you at the fighter meetings, you were very enthused. You have a great attitude to this fight. But you're fighting. There's a sense of urgency here, isn't there? I mean, you're fighting for your career, aren't you? My career is in the balance right now. I promise you. If I lose, where do I go? For the past two and a half years, I was world champion. I boxed the very, very best and come up with results. And I lost to a, a guy that really uh, ain't on my level. I'm telling you the truth. I'm just being... Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm so honest uh, to myself. So I'm saying I'm very real. And if I can't deal with... True acts in a good way, then I oh, know we have to see. We wish you luck. Thank you, thank you. Good luck, James. <laughs> Caleb, come on out here. 
Caleb Truex, only one fighter came up here with a belt. That's you. Hey, that's me. Yeah, you're the underdog. Used to be his. Are you, do you feel disrespected when you look at the odds and you consider, you said to us that you consider James DeGale's overlooking you again? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought I did the job pretty well last time and, and beat him pretty convincingly. And uh, from what I saw, I was a six to one underdog. And I don't think that, uh, I mean, a lot of people are going to make some money betting on me. <laughs> put, put it that way. The, um, any fighter wants to be better the second time in a rematch. You fought what you called the perfect fight against him in England. How do you fight better this time? Uh, like I said in the fighting meetings, uh, there's some things that I could have done better, and there's uh, things that he could have done better, and I'll be prepared for those things and, and uh, just adapt to anything he uh, throws at me that's new. Wish you luck. Good luck. Thank you.